Today we're going to go over module one, lesson one. And the main concept today is using a place value chart to multiply and divide numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000. So what they really want us to think about is multiplying the number. So if I was to put the number four here in the ones place, because that's what we're going to multiply, and we're going to do four times 10, what they want us to do is think about if we were using place value disks. So I'm going to represent that with four. So there's our original four. And there's four times 10, uh, 40 total dots. So now we would have to regroup if we were using place value disks. So we would grab a group of 10 and regroup that. And we have four of those. So we're moving those all over, each regrouped. So now we have four in the tens place and zero left in the ones. So four times 10 will be 40. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you do that. For this, we're gonna be using uh, arrows and we're gonna be moving appropriately either left or right on the place value chart depending on what we are multiplying. So we're gonna do a couple of samples. For our first example, we're gonna do 0.4 or 4 tenths times 10, 4 tenths times 100, and 4 tenths times 1,000. So I'd first start off by writing 4 tenths and just doing this numerically, no place value dots. Um, 4 and it's in the tenths column. Now we're multiplying it by 10. So 10 is telling me I'm moving over one place over to the left because we're multiplying. So I now have four ones. So four tenths is the equivalent of four, excuse me, four tenths times 10 is the equivalent of four. Now, if I did the same thing, I'm gonna do it again down here, and it's four tenths. This time I'm multiplying it by 100. I'm gonna have to go over two place values because it's not just 10, it's by 100. So one, two, comes over here, and I have a four. I can't, I have four tens. Four tens is the same as 40. Um, but I need to remember four tens, we wanna put a zero here in the place value chart because I want those ones, there's zero there and I want that to be represented, so we have 40. The last time again, 4 tenths. So we'll put our 4 tenths there, and this time we're multiplying it by 1,000. So 1,000, it's three place values over. So our four now goes to 100. Four hundreds is the same as 400, if we write it like that. So again, I have no Nothing in the tens place, so I'm going to put a zero there. And I have nothing in the ones place, I'm going to put a zero there. And there's my number 400. All right, let's try another one. This time our number is 2 and 43 hundredths. So we're going to go ahead and put that in to our place value chart. 2 is in the 1, 4 is in the tenths, and 3 is in the hundredths. And we're going to multiply this by 10. So again, moving one place to the left. 2 times 10 is 20, so we now have 2 there. 2 times 4 tenths becomes 4 ones. And 3 hundredths times 10 becomes 3 tenths. So our new number is 24.3, or 24 and 3 tenths. Let's try the next one. We'll go ahead and put 2.43 in here again. This time we're multiplying by 100. So two places to the left because we're multiplying by 100. So 2 times 100 becomes 200. 4 times 100 becomes, excuse me, 4 tenths times 100 becomes 40. And 3 hundredths times 100 becomes 3. And we have nothing to the right of the decimal. So our answer to that is 243. Last one. We're going to put our 2 and 43 hundredths back into our place value chart. This time we're multiplying it by 1,000. So we're moving it three places to the left. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. So again, it's over three spots. 4 tenths times 1,000 is 
four hundredths. And three hundredths times a thousand is the same as thirty. So that moves here. And then we're going to put our zero, because we have nothing going into the ones place. And our response to that is 2,430. Okay, we're going to take the number 6 and divide it by 10, 100, and 1,000. So we'll start with 6, and this is 6 ones. And divide it by 10. So 6 ones divided by 10. We're going to move one spot over to the right. It is the equivalent of 6 tenths. Moving into the next thing, again, 6, and we're dividing this time by 100. Bigger number, we're going to have to move over two place values. Our 6 goes here. We do need to remember we can't have a blank space in the tenths. A blank space means there's a number there, it's a 0. So we're going to be right there, and that's going to be our answer is 6 hundredths for 6 divided by 100. Last but not least, we're going to do 6 divided by 1,000. So 6 and divided by 1,000, larger number still. We're going to have to go over three place values to be the equivalent of that. And we have nothing in the hundredths, which is a zero, and nothing in the tenths, again a zero. So our answer is six thousandths for that number. Let's try one last division problem. Um, we're going to do 745. We're going to divide that by 10, 100, and 1,000. So 745, going ahead and putting that into the place value chart, 700 four tens and five ones. And that's the beam, we're gonna start off dividing it by 10. So we're moving over to the right one place value. Five slides here, four into the ones, and the seven into the tens. So our new number is 74 and five tenths. We'll go ahead and put 745 back in. And this time we're gonna do it by 100. 100 is 10 times bigger than 10. So we're going to move over two places to the right. So the 5 is going to slide all the way over to the hundredths, the 4 into the tenths, and the 7 into the ones. We'll put our decimal point here so we don't forget it. And our answer to that is 7 and 45 hundredths. Last one. 745 divided by 1,000. So three places back. I'm going to even put divided by 1,000 so I know what I was doing on that arrow. Five goes all the way back here. Four and seven. All of my place values to the right of the decimal are completed. And our final answer is 745 thousandths. And that concludes our first mini lesson for Module 1, Lesson 1.